Hi guys, Steve Blankert here. Hey, I wanted to give you a little demonstration of uh, this coil and condenser tester I have, but I want to show you the difference between a good condenser and one that's old and it's breaking down and a little bit out of spec and show you what happens. So I've got this Herbrand coil and condenser tester from the 1940s. Uh, I've repaired it. Uh, it has a brand new condenser inside it that's rated about 0.24 microfarads. And uh, um, I've got it set up with a power supply and a voltmeter over here. And I have a typical replacement 6-volt coil here uh, sitting in my uh, drink koozie. But it's just uh, a typical one you get from you know many of the tractor supply places or such. And then this is a, a Model A condenser that's, uh, it reads about 0.46 microfarads, but it's pretty old too. So it's probably, it's probably breaking down inside. So uh, I'm going to turn on the tester. And right now I have it set for testing the coil. So it's using the internal condenser that's good. And I just want to show you the spark. And then we're going to change the condenser test, which is going to test this external one. And we'll show you the difference in how it reacts. So I'm going to turn it on. All right. So we're just uh, about six volts here, and you can see I got a nice strong spark here, which is up well up into the good range, and uh, that's what I would expect. Now this is using the good condenser that's matched to the six volt coil. Now I'm going to switch to the condenser test position, which is going to take me to the external one that's that's going bad, and you can see the spark is just about stopped. It's going to break up. You know, I can get down here. It's in the poor range. And if you can imagine what this is, how your car starts running bad if you get a bad condenser, and this is kind of what happens. It starts bucking and jerking. It's going to be really hard to start. It won't start at all, maybe. Uh, but you can see, you know, it'll it'll work at a much a, a smaller spark. It'll go a shorter shorter distance. That spark has a, to jump. But as it move up, it just can't it just can't make it. So, uh, but that's the effect of a deteriorating condenser. And you can imagine how that is for trying to start your car that way, or if it starts running bad, this is it kind of shows what happens. So again, I'm going to swap back to the good condenser internally, and this is what you should be getting, a nice, good, hot spark. Okay. So anyway, just want to give you a little quick demo. I hope you find this useful. Take care.